I will be showing you how to do the fishtail effect. Here's an example. It's rainbow. You don't have to do rainbow with loads of colors. You can just do, for example, with four colors. I did this with blue, yellow, green, pink, and orange, and purple. Or you can do with mixed colors. For example, in this side, I have green and orange. And in this side, I have blue and pink. And in this side, yellow and purple. And here's loads of more examples. This is not a fish tail, it's a hexafish. But in another video, I'll be showing you how to do that. Uh, the link is in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to take your middle part of your loom out. And it should look like this. It should just have two pegs. Then you're going to, at the end of your loom, and you're going to your four pegs, you're going to use these four pegs. I'm going to be using just two looms to explain easier. Uh, you, you're also going to need a S clip or a C clip. It doesn't really matter because they're both useful. Okay, so let's get started. Take your first loom band, place it on these two pegs over here like this. At the end of the band, Get your hook and place it onto this peg right here so it could, it could look like a triangle. Then get the first part of your band and place it over here. And it should look like an M like this. So push it down, get your pink or whichever color you're using and place it like this. It, it should look like a square or a rectangle, something like that. Get your band here, get your hook and hook it and place. Get your band, hook and place. Get your, these bands right here, get them. Get one, hook and place hook in place and it should look like a strange half diamond like this okay now get your blue again or the color you're using push down put it in a square get your hook get your part of your band hook in place, Oops, sorry, hook in place, and do that repeatedly to all to the part of your limbs, and it should now look like this. Okay, so keep going until you get your full bracelet. Just remember to place an hook and do that repeatedly and you will be finished your bracelet in no time. 
say maybe about 30 minutes you would 30 to 40 minutes you would finish your bracelet if you're a beginner you would finish it, finish it in about an hour because well because you you should like first get used to it and then you could do it fast So place and hook, pull it down, pull. Um, this is this is how it should look like. And place it onto your then get your hook as well again and place it onto your peg like this I'm doing this so it could be much easier to place your band onto your it should look like a C when you're doing this Okay, so get it onto your fingers, get your C-clip, place it onto the band and let go. Okay, so we can now unhook the band of the pegs and it should look like this. Now on the other side, you don't have to do that because you can just pull both of this that both of the strings that you have here place it onto your fingers like this get the other part of your S clip or C clip and hook it and there you should have your fishtail effect for your bracelets subscribe and comment which is your favorite bracelet if you don't have your materials for your looms you can get them in the description box below. You can get your loom kit, which is with which comes with your loom, your hook, and your S clips and and normal bands. Or you can get separately tie-dye bands which are half for example, half pink and half green. Neon, which are shinier and brighter than your normal bands and tie-dye, half tie-dye, which have dots on your looms. Hope you can see that. Uh, your S-clips, uh, your mini hooks. Um, stay, stay tuned for my other videos. Uh, the next video, which I'll have in the description box below, is going to be doing a fishtail with a fork. And if you don't have a hook with a toothpick so thanks thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment which is your favorite loom band resell it okay bye bye